The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, I have some news, folks, from here at the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street. We've had someone uh, send me an email saying that he didn't think it was appropriate that I was talking like this at the beginning of the show, acting so silly. And I have to say that I have to agree with him. So Billy Ray Valentine will be moving on to another venue, and you will not hear from him anymore. Not Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn will be with you forever. I might grow old, but I'll never grow up. Folks, I posted a chart here. It is the most important chart of the year other than the one we had on January 7th at the high. As you see here in the NASDAQ, this is comes from our friends across the pond. And you know, Alan has pointed out that we are setting right at a 382 retracement, one standard deviation, which we know from the Floor Traders Handbook is extremely important. And here we are today. Any close above 15,000 in that NASDAQ means that we could go all the way back up to the 618, 786, or potentially off into the wild blue yonder. So today is a really, really important day. So if you think that's important, let's look at a couple other indicators here that might give us a heads up of what we see going on in some of these markets. I think it's important that we look at them because uh, they've uh, you know, kept us in the ballpark uh, for quite a while here. Here is, the, here is the Russell, folks. Today, the Russell on that big run up in the morning, I don't know if it's above it now, but the Russell went all the way up to 2036, which was a 61% retracement. Try it again, Billy Ray. It was a 38% retracement of the high on January 3rd. Okay, so that was a nothing more than a very, very strong two-day movement unless we go above 2038, 2036. And then I don't know where the Russell's at right now. The last I saw it was like 2021 or something like that. But uh, that's a very, very important one. And then we have the big daddy rabbit, the one that everybody likes to see, and that's no other than the cash S&P. And as soon as I get that one up, I've got so many charts to share with you today. I have to track them down, and it's not easy for the cowboy. Let's see where we put it. All right, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Oh, <laughs> that just That's not it. Hold on one second. Where is that doggone thing? Shut the front door and raise the I have to bring this up because it's so darn important. Um, oh, please, please, please. What did you do to yourself here? Uh, that's impossible. Oh, come on. Give me a second, folks. I know it's here. I, I made sure it was in this group here because it's that important, for heaven's sakes. And what did I do with it? Well, it looks like I didn't put it in there. I know I did because I pulled it up and I, I even marked it. Oh, well, move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, oh, here it is. I knew I'd find it if I would give it myself a little time. So far today in the S&P Cash... This has been our number. We hit the exact 50% retracement, and we did it with a beautiful, uh, what we call a beautiful uh, A, B, C, D pattern. Okay, now this may be important. It may not be important, but sometimes history repeats itself. And if you go back to where we were back in 2000 when we had the old COVID, you'll notice you see that five-day, there was a four-day rally right at the 50% level. That's where we are. We're at a 50% level, only we're into a six-day rally. And that's why it's so very, very important. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but this is what I like to see. So your risk here is extremely small, and that's what you're looking at. Now, we got a few other things that we need to – oh, one other thing. Someone asked a question about the trade that we posted uh, last night uh, uh, very early in the evening uh, with the gold market, we were looking for a, a 382 retracement uh, in the gold market. 
Uh, our original SOP was going to be about $12, but fortunately, it went right up to our number. We lowered our stop down. Our profit objective was $1,000, and uh, we made that uh, relatively easily. These are the kind of trades that we're going to be doing when we do the next uh, uh, trading uh, day, which will be sometime, I believe, in March. Uh, is what we'll be looking at. You know, I, I don't know how I could put these things in order. I think that I do, and then when I look at them, they're not in order. I don't understand that. Just truly amazing to me. But other things have been amazing to me in the past, too. Let's do it here. Come on, Larry. Gee whiz, this is embarrassing. I can't even find the charts that I post in here. Ay, 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 ay. Just shake my head. Well, move on to the next one. Just as soon as I say that, I usually find it. But this time... This time I didn't, so that's not that's not a problem. Okay, let's move on here to uh, talk about some of these stocks that are out there that are really in the new. Oh, before we get that, folks, we are a heartbeat away, and I do mean a heartbeat away from a top in the crude oil market. Let me give you a heads up on this. Here's here's our uh, daily chart on this, and today's the day. I, uh, I don't know. Today is New New Year's Day, folks. This is New Year's Day for the Chinese. This is the year of the tiger. I can hear Tommy growling as we go through here. We're watching it here, and uh, uh, we just we just busted through on the on the Russell. That was what that uh, that's what that was for. It was uh, telling us that we have uh, we have gone through the three eight two on the Russell. That makes it bullish for the Russell. I have to turn that off here. Just bear with me here one second. The main we just went to the two thirty eight level. So hold on. Otherwise, it'll drive me absolutely nuts, and I don't want to do that. Here it is, right there. I just have to go there and turn this. Turn, yeah, yeah. 238 was a number, and we just hit 241. So that's a that's a positive uh, positive one to look at. Okay, now I don't I don't like to trade the Russell because it's very very small, but it's still uh, still a pretty good one uh, as we. Uh, as we see these things uh, going through here today. Okay, now let's move on here to one other one that we want to be talking about. Hold on, folks. I have to separate a few things here, trying to get it all together. Th this crude oil market, as you can see, uh, is going to be topping either today, tomorrow, or the next day. I know that's a wide band, but be, be watching it because uh, when it happens, it's going to be it's going to be a big one. I mean, I know they're talking about the war and uh, you know the other stuff, and that's it. But it, it follows these three these three drive patterns really nicely. Here was one real really early uh, yesterday, and we made a 78% level. We went all the way down to uh, 86, uh, uh, 66, I think, uh, right at the 78% level. Then we're rallying back, getting ready to make that final ABCD up there somewhere around uh, 89 or maybe even 90. But watch that one. That's on the watch list. I think it's really important to uh, pay uh, very, very close attention to. Also, I have to put this one up for our good friend, uh, Mr. Uh, Z. Let's get this up here. Hold on one second here. Uh, if we can get this done right. Hold on. Where did I put that one? Boy, oh, boy, this is getting to be. Oh, here it is right here. This was the uh, forecast. Uh, for the bean high today. I wouldn't trade this with your money, folks, but this is what the forecast is. Somewhere around 5, uh, 1530 should be the high, and I don't know if it's going to get much above that, but I'd use a stop at about $0.08 cents on that, but that could be a really good one because it's showing a really high correlation today, and we'll see uh, see what's going back to that. We're going to get back to the stock market here, folks. Very important stuff. And I think it's important that we pay really, really close attention to it. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, chart. Hold on one second. I posted the open interest of the uh, – hold on. I've got to do that again. Uh, shut the front door and raise your hand. Give me a second here. I posted the chart showing uh, – that's a graph, not a chart uh, – the open interest from the CME. You'll notice the open interest is dropping in crude oil as prices are making new highs. That means new buyers are not coming in. That's not a very good sign, okay? Yesterday, with all that action that we had in the S&P, with the S&P being up yeah, the day before, it was also dropping. But look at the open interest yesterday uh, in the uh, – hold on here. Uh, you'll be able to see here another 49,000 people left the – a room yesterday, uh, you left the market yesterday on that big room up. That was short covering, folks. New buying did not come in. That's not a bullish sign. I know it looks bullish today, but tomorrow may be a different story. Not even sure, but that's what we're watching as we look through here. Now, I've uh, covered the crude oil. I've covered the uh, E-mini S&P on the uh, open interest because it's very, very important. Now, I would like to do is talk just a tiny bit here about the bonds. Let's get this up here. You'll see here that uh, this is what we're watching in the bonds. We have a chance that we're going to get a really nice uh, ABCD pattern coming in at the 382 uh, probably sometime in the next day or so. I haven't followed them quite closely today because I'm focusing on a few other things that are relatively important. But uh, that's the main thing that we're keeping a close eye on right now is the fact that uh, that's what we're looking here uh, in the market is uh, looking to short those bonds. Up at that 157 level. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Up at the 157 level, so there's nothing else I can do uh, about that. So uh, that's just uh, my daughter calling in. She probably just wants to say hello, so not a problem. Thank you, sweetie. The boss of the family just turned off my cell phone. Anyway, let's move on here to talk about a few others. Uh, folks, when I post it, by the way, the euro is working nicely today. If you remember, we were looking to sell that euro up there at that one, uh, one twelve sixty level, which was the three eight two retracement. It went about seventeen ticks higher, and then it's rolled over pretty nicely, and uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> no, don't do any, don't do any betting on football. Uh, that's uh, no, no need to do that anymore. 
Um, these markets are much more exciting than football. When you stop and think, these these are incredible athletes are out there, folks. But what I do is I watch the highlight of the game. That way I don't have to get excited. I know who won. I, I saw who the best players were and the great plays. And that's all I really need to do. The rest of it's boring. And then you get to see all the advertisement, which takes up about – You know, out of a three-hour game, it takes up one hour worth of advertising because they sell so much of it and they make so much money. So I pass on that. And uh, I used two years ago, many, many years ago, but but, uh, not anymore. That's not important. I do like to watch championship games like I'll watch the Super Bowl and I'll watch maybe a quarter of one of the other games and I'll watch the World Series and don't watch basketball anymore ever since Larry Bird and – uh, Irving Jackson, Magic Jackson retired. I, I don't even watch that anymore. Great athletes, but I just don't have any interest. Uh, I watch the old people's Olympics. You know, those guys that can still walk up the stairs by themselves, you know, can actually take a bath by themselves and stuff like that. Though Those are the important things in life now, you know. And then going to the, you know, the channel for which is the best tapioca recipe that's out there. Very, very important. Okay, now let's move up. By the way, would someone give me a price? Um, the last price on the soybeans. I'd just like to know if the soybeans, if March beans are trading under uh, fifteen twenty-five. I'd just like to know that because uh, just for a question, a question and answer here to see what's going on. Hey, you know, folks, you'd be a big help to me if you'd ask some questions. Because listen, I'm about. You see that? You see this, this this little distance here. I'm about that far from the t- from the, the 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 finish line, and I'd like to get some questions. Okay, they're trading right there at 15.25. Okay, but you know, ask some questions for God's sakes. I need some help doing this because it gives me some things to talk about. You know, I can't make up all this stuff every day. It's just not. Uh, it's just not fun. And when it stops being fun for me, you know what happens? Billy Ray does something else, and I don't want to do anything else. Now we're going to look here at the Japanese yen. Someone asked a question about this. I'm going to answer it the best of my ability. They put this chart over to me, and they asked me if that was a head and shoulders pattern. Mathematically, it is not for two reasons. You'll notice the left shoulder over there on the 22nd of November, and you notice the right shoulder over here three days ago. The right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder. Strike one. The time distance between shoulder, head, and shoulder is not even close. It's about half. No good. So on both both formulas for the, that they use for this is in the uh, book by Andrew Lote, the non-random walk down Wall Street. It is not a head and shoulders pattern. Is it tradable? Of course it is. That was an exact seven eight six up there. You know, and if you look at the distance between the seventeenth and the twenty fourth, that was a one point six one eight expansion. I mean, there's there's where you wanted to be a seller of it. You know, now we were looking to be sellers of the euro, and that so far has been working. But you know, you you just can't do can't do all of them. You know, natural gas, uh, I don't have it up to date because I'm looking at the euro so much, and uh, you know, I, I don't, because I have to change the style of these charts. Uh, I'm not able to do it, but I tell you what I can do is when the break comes, I'll be able to do it. I will be able to do that. But let's take a quick look here at the uh, at the natural ga- uh, at the natural gas because I do have that. Uh, we, we should take a look at it. Here's what we were looking for, and I mentioned the fact that you know we were up so many days in a row that we were due for a correction. You know, you're up ten days in a row, just basically straight up. So we are expecting that to be. Uh, one of the things to look for, that's what we're seeing in the euro here. But if we take a look at this on a uh, weekly basis, and this is the dollar index on the weekly basis, you see we still think we're going up to this eight, uh, nine, uh, 98.29 level. And I believe we're trading down below, uh, quite a bit below 97 right now. I think we're at 96 and change. That's due to where the euro was, and it was way, way oversold, and that's why you know, we waited for a 382 retracement to see if we could get a buy in. Now, we come back from the break here, which will be coming up pretty soon. I'll be happy to show you how I did that. Those of you belong to the 24 7 or the other things. And we've got a caller from Southern California on Tesla. Mike, how are you doing? Hi, Larry. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. What can we do for you, buddy? Can you take a look at this Tesla stock? Um, I'm, uh, I drew the, re, uh, the, uh, the Fibonacci retracement from the high, and um, we're right around the 382 retracement now. 
we've been significantly lower. Broke uh, yes. 800 three days ago. Tell mm-hmm. me what you see this stock doing in the near and the, and the um, distant future, please. Well, t- I, I, the 382 retracement on this, I believe, comes in around 971. I don't know where it's trading today, but I think uh, 971 is a 382. This is only the third day up in the run, but if it's really bearish, that's all you're going to get is three days, and then it should start down again. But if it exceeds okay. 971, Mike, that tells you it's a little stronger. Of course, we had the big gap up yesterday, but that was coming off of a 61% retracement and also an ABCD. Okay. Okay. So, so you you where do you see it going in the near future? Nine seventy one. It should stop there. Okay. All right, Larry. Thanks, thank you. Thanks for calling in, Mike. Really appreciate it. Keep the calls coming in, buddy. Appreciate it. Bye bye. We'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro. You'll see that we're looking at a... Uh, daily chart and uh, you'll notice that a point right there i'm going to show it to you in a little shorter time frame here in a minute but uh, this market had been down like 13 days uh and it anytime you're down more than eight you're oversold 13 is ridiculous and so it was down at a 127 i assumed we were going to rally we we're having a nice three-day rally and all we were doing today 
uh, on that three-day rally was none other than making a very nice uh, 382 retracement. So um, hold on. Uh, Okay, uh, Bob, if you'll email me, uh, I can I can arrange something for you on that uh, at LarryPesavento at gmail.com. I'll try to give you the, the information that you're looking for. Okay, now that's uh, that's what we've done. Now, basically, we were risking about 20 pips. It went up about 17, just missed the stop. And so now it's starting to go down. What you do now is you put your stop just over that high. I mean, we got to call Mr. Z. What it be? How are you doing, my friend? You still living the dream? Yeah, you betcha. And we're not going to leave you hanging. Everybody's calling That's in right good. now. Let me ask you a question, Bubba. Are you still long March beans? I bet you are, aren't you? No, I, um, I I booked a gain, what I thought was a really nice gain last, I think it was Thursday, mm -hmm. and uh, have missed the last 50, uh, 45 cents of this rally. Well, geez, you, let me see if I get this right. You take the first seventy-five hundred out, and you miss fifty cents. Gee, folks, maybe we <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's do a GoFundMe page for Mr. Z. Yeah, Don't you think we should? Would you please, I'd be yeah. I'd be we're going to do that. I'll work on that this afternoon, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. What, Good man. What's your question? And, what's your and, question? Uh, whatever, whatever proceeds, I'll uh, I'll ship down to those uh, Kentucky tornado uh, rebuilders. That's right. That's at Churchill Downs, by the way. Is where they're making the collections. Excellent, excellent. Okay, um, what can I do Larry, for you? I um, wanted to ask uh, you uh, a question or two about silver. Uh, yes. Just by way of background, of course, amidst the lockdowns that kicked off March of 2020, two years ago now, and then the Federal Reserve uh, creating uh, just trillions of new money to support things, the uh, COMEX Silver surged into a high of about 30 in August of 2020. So that is what, now a full 18 months ago. Since yes. that high, silver has come down on seven different, seven, count them, seven yep. different occasions and uh, plunged into the 22 to 21 range. Uh, and of course, the last time it did it was just last Friday. Mm -hmm. So that's just an observation of what it has done. My question to you is, given that price action itself is proving 22 to 21 as being pivotal in some way, is there any reason not to be aggressively long right in here? You know, Mr. Z, if you're, if you're uh, what you call your horizon, uh, it's looking at silver where I think it's going to go up around 40 cents again. Certainly not. And if you're buying physical silver, like the rounds and stuff, I'd go ahead and buy them. And the reason why the premiums just keep going up and up and up, I mean, first of all, they're hard to get. And second of all, you know, the premiums are very, very high. My assumption is, you know, and I'm a, I'm a sort of a contrarian, I'm very, very bullish gold and silver. But I think there's going to be one more washout down to that. 1720 level, maybe even taking out 1700 to get everybody bearish, and then I'm going to have a breadbasket out there. I'd love to see silver at 17 cents or something like the seven, 17 dollars an ounce. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> I can't even remember. I can't even remember what the what the what the thing. 17 dollars an ounce. So I, I think we could possibly get there. But to me, this roadmap that I'm looking at in the gold market really is, and especially since we got down, we got down to 1780. And then we racked, we rallied up to the 382 at 1808, and that brings us down again. If that's if that uh, is going to fulfill an ABCD, that's going to take us, you know, right down to 1727, and I'll be a buyer there. But uh, you know, I think there's going to be one possibility of a of a washout. But that's that's what I'm looking at. Whether that's correct or not, I don't know. But it's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, no, thanks for sharing uh, uh, with us. I, uh, I, uh, you, you know me, I, I lack confidence myself in ever um, putting into my head some specific number, you know, whether it's much lower or much higher. Um, I, I found uh, over my years, every time I've done that, I... Uh, I oftentimes get distracted and forget to do something. Uh, so uh, for me, uh, I'm just uh, uh, taking the approach, you know, 
anytime it gets down near that 22 level, I'm a buyer. And if it happens to bust under 21 en route to say that 17, so be it. I'll take that loss and say, uh, you know, that didn't work. Um, so, uh, but thank you on uh, on the silver thoughts. I wanted to follow that up and just ask you a question on the bean oil. Sure. And I know you do the weekly charts every weekend for your for uh, for your clients. And of course, bean oil is amidst right here and now a three month rally. It's up up near sixty six for the spot contract. Mm-hmm. Uh, if my if my memory is correct, looking back at the charts this past weekend, the high that occurred last, oh, it was right around Memorial Day just after, was somewhere up at that 72 mark. And so we've been rallying for, you know, two, three months, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and near 66. Is there, as a trader, as a as an intermediate term, uh, term trader, is there something that you're looking at that tells you, hey, it's pretty unlikely we're going to extend up to that 72 and retest those highs? Or I think it's going there, and I'll just hold long. I was hope you could just shed some light on your thinking to that question, please. I I see that I see that unfolding, but it's having so much difficulty getting above sixty six and staying there that uh, I would be a little bit a uh, little bit scary. Not stop and think, Mister Z. You just said looking for it to go to seventy two. That's another six cents six cents higher, correct? Correct. Okay, so that's $3,600. The question is, how much do you have to risk to see if that $3,600 is going to be valid? You know, that's that's the way I would look at it. Say, so what's my risk-reward level to get to uh, 72 bucks? And it's not acting that good myself. I mean, you'd think, you'd think it would already be there. I mean, here we are, you know, soybeans have gone, you know, to, to have taken a moonshot. So has meal and uh, beans out there are, you know, bean oil is not doing very well. And it should be doing even better because of the price of crude oil because they use it so much for, you know, for uh, for uh, oil fuel. So that's uh, that's what I'm uh, that's what I would be concerned about. Okay, very much. Uh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Um, one last question for you on the um, the crude oil. Um, are you quite convinced the odds favor the short seller up here in this eight oh, region? Oh yeah. Raise your hand, Larry. Mr. Z, my favorite, my, my favorite, my favorite pattern. I mean, is that three drive pattern? And we're knocking on the door. I, I can hear. You hear that noise? Yeah, I got you. That's the crude. Oil, that's the crude oil bears knocking on the door. They're they're waiting either for one or two more days, maybe a invasion of the Ukraine. But uh, that puppy's ready to take a flying Walinda. Thanks, Larry. Hey, buddy, take it easy, buddy. Happy New Year, Chinese style. Gongay fat choy, lacy daloy. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the charts of those four 382 patterns that we were looking at today. They all were very, very good. Well, the NASDAQ is many good. It hasn't gone above those numbers, but at least it didn't go above it yet. But I was just posting them to show you, yes, they do work. And sometimes, you know, uh, they're related to risk and how much you can make and the probability of winning. And those are the things that, uh, from a pattern recognition, swing trader's point of view, that's what we're looking at. What we're going to do now, folks, we're going to go downtown to New York City at Wall and Broad. And we're going to look at some of these FANG stocks because this was the tip-off that we were going to have a rally this week. If you'll notice here, the first we're going to start off here with Microsoft. You'll notice Microsoft completed an ABCD down there at 278. Okay, that was an ABCD from the high down to the low, the 382 rally up to 322, and then straight down from 322 down to 275. And as of yesterday, we had rallied up to the 50% level, and we're probably going to go a little bit higher than that. But that's what Microsoft is looking at. Now, this means you're in a one, two, three, four, five, six day rally. Okay, and that's that anytime you get past five, you're due for a correction. So keep an eye on some of these things because they're very, very interesting as you look at them. Now, here's one of my, my favorite charts. You want to see a bullish chart, boys and girls. Here is a bullish chart. Fasten your seatbelts. Look at, look at uh, what we did to Netflix. We went from 720 down to 340. That's more than 50%, folks, in two months. We had this little tiny bounce. You can see it went from, uh, what, 355 up to, what, 470. Everybody got excited. It's going to go up. I mean, if it, if it goes up and fill that gap, I'll be surprised. But uh, uh, that's not a very, very bullish chart. It wasn't bullish all along. So the thing that it really, it did, it tore it apart as, as far as looking at it uh, from that perspective. But uh, I think when you see some of these others, uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Next one we're going to look at, we've already taken a look at Tesla, but we're going to look at it again for Mike. And you'll notice here, we'll just, just talk about it again. You'll see we had the bottom down there, supposed to come in around 810. The uh, bottom was a 799, I believe. We're now trading at 943, I was told. We're in the third day of the rally on this. So uh, we want to be watching that one closely because usually bear markets, you get three to five day rallies and then down, down, down. But, you know, if we get much above those numbers we were talking about earlier, that's not going to be very helpful. Now, here is one that is not acting very good at all. And it hasn't been ever since we had the 
a beautiful 135 pattern that was given to us by uh, Roy Longstreet and his son Bill, two very dear friends of mine that have gone on to that big trading castle in the sky. You'll see the 135 pattern. The symmetry between 13 and 5 has got to be equal. The 5 has to be either 786 or 618 of 1. The 3 is 786 of 1. When all that lines up, that's a mathematical equation that you have to pay attention to. And it went from 297. All 2970 <laughs> all the way down to 2520. And now we've had it. You'll notice here there's a beautiful six day uh, one, two, three, four, five, six days right at the 382. And Google went down. I'll be really surprised if Google is up very much today, given that. Uh, if someone tell me where Google is trading right now, I'll be really surprised if that puppy is much higher than uh, where we were before. So we'll see. Uh, see where that is. If someone would chime in, uh, there we go. Twenty-seven twenty. So that is up a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's up quite a bit, isn't it? Because we said twenty-six ten. So that's up a hundred and twenty dollars. Twenty-seven twenty. That's all the way back to that number. That that's a. Uh, that has potential to be bullish. That's a very, I was surprised it was up that much, but like I say, I get surprised a lot as I see these things. And then we're gonna look at one of the all time favorites for everybody that ever bought a package, which I just, I bought something on uh, on Monday and they're gonna deliver today. I, 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 I'm shocked. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look here at Amazon. You'll see we went exactly to the 50% level. This was one of the reasons I was expecting a rally, folks, is because we hit all of those numbers a, B, C, Ds, and Fib numbers, with the exception of Netflix, on all of these things, just spot on. I mean, one after another, and now we've had a you know right at there a 2710. We rallied up to uh, uh, 3000, and we probably should hang around that 3000 level for another day or two, and then I would imagine we will start uh, start back down again. So uh, those are the ones, and the final, of course. <laughs> the one that's been acting the most bullish that's made the NASDAQ the champion of the week. <clears throat> Excuse me. None other than our good friend, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, who was visited by Mr. Rabbit, which was here with his wit. Anyway, let's move on here. That's where uh, we've had this huge rally in Apple. Time out, folks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me one second. I need to clear my throat. Speaking of Mr. Turtell, I have his buddy, Mr. Frog, in my throat. Hold on. Okay. All right. Any questions you have? 877-927-6648. Al tells me that the uh, lightning bolt uh, on the... Uh, the receiver there is uh, full up with uh, full lines coming in, so you're not going to be able to get in today. So write your questions down and bring them in tomorrow. That would really be great. Um, I hope to have Stan Harley as our guest tomorrow. Uh, if not him, I'm trying to get our good friend, Mr. Joe DiNapoli. But uh, Joe is uh, in Cognito or something because I can't get a hold of him. I email him and call him and he doesn't answer. So that's uh, pretty much it. Okay, let's move on. Next week we will have Jim uh, Bartoleone for sure. we are uh, hopefully have Tim Bost on Thursday and uh, we'll have Shane Smolian next week uh, on Monday because he's got some great stuff, folks. I mean, he, this, there's no question about it and that's it. Uh, any thoughts on wheat, Bob? I haven't looked at wheat today. Uh, I'm sorry, but I tell you what, when that break comes up, I have a minute, I can quickly go in and take a look at it. I was trying to be a buyer today in Wheat Bob because we had made that 382, and what I was wanting to see is how much lower it was going to go to give me buy. You see there was at the 127 is the low. I was going to buy wheat at the 1.618 level today, but I got real busy. I didn't put the order in. But what I'm going to do is when the break comes, which will be very soon, I'm going to go in and look at that because that's another way of looking at it. Because that's a perfect ABCD from 835 down to 775 up to 796. And the 1.618 will be right about um, seven, ooh, 748 would be my guess. I'll have the, the chart for you when we look at it, but that's one of the ways of uh, looking at these things. So I think that's important to uh, to look at because uh, we'll see what's going. I, I can, can you, uh, uh, Private Marshall from Washington, uh, Marshall, are you there, my friend? I am. Hey, unfortunately, you're coming in right into the two-minute warning. Uh, do you have a question? 
Yeah, I'm I'm uh, Long Copper from uh, uh, four thirty, and I'm looking for a target. I'm thinking okay, four well first, fifty. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that at the break. But the first thing you want to do right after the break is transfer it into my account so you don't have any more chance of risk, okay? Who loves you, buddy? We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Marshall Robinson on the line. Marshall, are you still there? Oops, I guess Marshall hung up. He's getting ready to listen to what I have to say anyway. I know he's up there in Washington listening to, and hopefully I will be able to. I've got the chart. Now, the question is, can I find it in time? That's the, that's the real question, and I don't know if I can or not. Nope. Just a second, Marshall. Bear with me, buddy. I'll ship it to you tonight afterwards anyway. But I would be taking profits right in here, Marshall, because you're right up against a 135 uh, pattern in Marshall, just a really beautiful one. So uh, I would certainly be taking that one uh, in stride as far as, uh, you know, taking a profit in it. That's what I would be doing. Uh, boy, oh, boy, they, they, they have to be. Oh, here it is, Marshall. There you go. You'll be able to see it here, and I'll quickly get to the wheat. Uh, there's where we are, Marshall. Oh, Larry, Larry, Larry. 
Oh, <laughs> shut the front door and raise the rent. Marshall, are you still there? Yeah. Yeah, that a boy. Hold on. Here's here's your wheat chart, buddy. There you go. You'll see you right here at 441. I would pick up that I don't telephone. Want wheat. I want copper. <laughs> well, that was copper. I posted copper. So you're first. Wheat's coming next. Wheat's coming next. Right. So uh, there's your copper at 441. I would be getting out of it. <laughs> and if it goes any higher, I'll be I'll be apologizing you and buying you all the Mexican dinners when you come to Tucson the next time. OK, really? Yeah. You, you get that? free Mexican dinners. If it hits 444, you get free Mexican dinners. I think it'll hit more than that. But well, then, okay. hey, then, hey, don't call in and keep your keep your longs, buddy. You know, I, you know, this this is a ball game that's played both ways. You know, I'm only in the third inning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were after eight furlongs already. Well, I've passed that eight furlong. Listen, I got to cover this wheat for Bob. So thanks for calling in. Give Len my regards and get down here, boy. The weather's getting nice. Okay, we'll do that. All right. See you Bye. soon, buddy. You bet. Marshall and Lynn visit us about two or three times a year. Here's the wheat chart. I posted it up there. The buy down there, spot on, 757 was a 78% level. It was also the 1618 of the 382. Bada bing, bada boom. But you get live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless Billy Ray Valentine signing off 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tone down the energy, boys. <laughs>